Pisces, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8,000 Energy. Here to bring you your true intentions read for the month of October, November 2021. I hope all is well in the Piscean community. For those of you who are part of the APOS community who already know how I feel about you, I appreciate you guys. <coughs> In the various ways that you um, show your support to the channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Hopefully you'll subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you need a personal, my information is in the box below. Let's see what we got going on. I'm going to pull uh, a couple of cards here. So take what resonates and leave the rest. There's a couple hundred people who will check out the video. So, you know, just understand everything won't resonate with you. But if it does, <coughs> take notice. We have the Strength Energy, Leo Energy. Okay, that's a major arcana. Then we have the Six of Swords in reverse. That's uh, Aquarius Energy. This uh, reading is called a True true Intentions reading. This is going to tell you how somebody really feels about you. This could be somebody that you are no longer with, but maybe they want to reapproach you, or maybe you're considering reapproaching them, and you just want to know what their intentions would be if you, do, if you tried to work things out. For some of you, this is somebody you're currently with, and maybe their <coughs> energy is switched up in a way that makes you question what their intentions are, so it could be uh, in reference to that. It doesn't matter who this is. It could be a lover, a friend, a family member. Why am I not getting any cards? I'm going to pull six cards because I want to get information on... Um, this is the King of Swords energy in reverse. No wonder I couldn't get no cards. Ah, oh, I see. Damn, okay. Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands energy here. Well, Eight of Wands is Sag. Then we have the Nine of Swords energy in reverse, which is Gemini. The Nine of Pentacles came out in reverse. Virgo energy. <clears throat> so let's just see what the, dy the dynamics are between you and this person and then I'll pull cards to see how they feel about you so the overall energy I guess is the tower moment that's what was popped out here so you know that's Mars energy Mars is in Libra right now you know Libra is the house of relationships of all sorts business and family marriage but we got the strength energy here the six of swords energy in reverse and the king of swords energy in reverse so it's like we got somebody here who <clears throat> they could be fighting their own thoughts. They could be fighting their own logic. Or they're, you know, hiding something. It's hard for them to hide what they're hiding. They may be figuring out that they're getting caught out there or that people may be figuring them out. Um, but this could be something else too. But let's see. So with yeah, this is somebody who um, could be very dangerous, I would think, <clears throat> with the uh, tower energy and the, uh, and the strength energy. Like, this is, you know, there's a tower moment going on. And so somebody's trying to maintain their composure. This person may feel like they're stuck. Or they feel like if they say something, they're going to be stuck. If they open their mouth, it's, it's going to be a problem. But they're holding their temper back from somebody. Like It's like trying to hold yourself back. Like, Lord, if I have to knock this person out or something like that, like that's what I'm getting here. Then we got the Eight of Wands. There's some type of message here. Somebody, um, the Nine of Swords and the Nine of uh, Pentacles in reverse. So somebody could be oblivious to what's going on here. They may not even know that this person is scheming on them, trying to get, you know, trying to get the leverage, the upper hand on them. Yeah, something like that. But uh, the Nine of Swords energy in reverse, this is like letting go of stress or not being anxious about something. But it's like somebody's not anxious about um, getting a message. Like, um, they feel like it would be a waste of time. Like, somebody's reaching out. This person's reaching out. This person knows that this person is a waste of their time. 
Yeah, they know. So, it's like I already know what this is about. Well, not what it's about, but I already know this person is a waste of time, so I'm not going to answer them. That's how some of you could be feeling. Or somebody could be feeling that way about you. But let's just see how this person feels about you. Alright, one more shuffle here. Okay. So, what was the energy this person was in the last time you two spoke? was the energy they were in the last time you two spoke for Pisces. Yeah, we have the star card energy in reverse. <clears throat> Aquarius energy. How does this person feel about you overall? Whoops. One too many. How does this person feel about you overall? We have the ten of pentacles. Okay. How do they feel about you deep down? Whether they told you this or not, whether you know it or not. How do they feel about Pisces? We have the King of Wands energy in reverse. That's Leo energy. What's the mutual energy between you and this person? What's the mutual energy between Pisces and this person? Mutual energy between Pisces and this person. Thank you. The Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. So there you are. What's the external factors that either kept this from working out if this is past tense or that's keeping this from working out if this is going on right now? Or if, <clears throat> or if something's brewing, what could be causing it? The Two of Pentacles energy in reverse. Capricorn energy. If you tried to work things out with this individual, how would it work out? What would the energy be like? We have the Knight of Pentacles energy in reverse. That's a Virgo energy. <clears throat> we got the queen of wands that's uh aries energy so somebody the way they're feeling they're feeling confident in a situation they're feeling like you know they got everything under control you know they're feeling like if there's something they want they can get it you know they're very ambitious goal oriented this is this energy somebody's just feeling good it's like a new beginning you know because aries represents spring you know, and, and you know that energy that you feel once, you know, winter leaves and spring comes. It's like a new beginning, a fresh start. Somebody could be feeling this way or wanting that. So we have uh, Aquarius, the star card in reverse, the ten of pentacles. I showed you the cards, right? We make sure just in case the king of wands energy in reverse. I thought I did. The nine of cups, which is Pisces, I did. The two of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> And then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so the last time you and this person talked, um, it may have been confirmed that there was no forward movement between you two. Maybe somebody tried and it didn't work. Somebody might have been turned down. Somebody been, might have been let down. Um, it could be that somebody wanted to take you, knock you off your pedestal here. They may look at you as, you know, they could be jealous or envious and want to knock you off your pedestal because it came out in reverse. How they feel about you overall, though, is a ten of pentacles. This could be a family member. Um, this could be some, a business partner. This is how they see you. They see you as um, very valuable. Very. Uh, they see ultimate worth with you. Right? How do they feel about you deep down, whether you know it or not, whether they told you or not? I feel like they're... Um, <laughs> you got more balls than them. This is what I'm getting. Like, they, that's why they're jealous of you. Because you got balls they don't. Excuse my language for those who don't like, you know, the word. But that's basically what this is telling me here. And the mutual energy between you two is the Nine of Cups. So you guys like each other. Is what I'm getting. Or you see each other. You see a purpose in each other. A mutual benefit with dealing with one another. So, like I said, this could be business, um, you know, because people love money. And we got a lot of money here. The Nine of Cups could be, you know, wish fulfillment as far as, you know, we making money. But uh, somebody's being greedy as well, though. So it could be this person here. This is how they're, they're seeing you or you're seeing them as someone who's being greedy. That could be why, you know, you're not answering the calls because somebody wasn't answering the phone. 
external factors that keep you two from working things to out is the two of pentacles energy in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to put the time and energy and effort into the situation. Somebody knows it's a waste of time. Or they knew it was a waste of time and they went ahead with it anyway. And it confirmed to be true. It was a waste of time. Now, if you move forward with the situation with the Knight of Pentacles energy in reverse, it's not going to go anywhere. <clears throat> it's still going to be stuck in a rut. Like, this person is just going to, you know, get what they can from you. You know, um, and that's it. You know, this is somebody who's trying to take from you. That's what I'm getting here. You know, this is pretty cut, cut and dry here. Um, here's the Queen of Wands here. This is you doing your thing. You're the Queen of Wands energy, man or woman. You know, Six of Wands, people recognizing you for what you do and how you get down. And so, you know, naturally you need to protect yourself with the Nine of Wands. You could have people coming back from the past or just people in general coming to you. So you got to protect your energy. Yeah, because you got a little people who are off. This is like temperance energy in reverse. People who could be jealous, envious, you know, um, they don't believe in what you do. You know, they may have some uh, uh, orthodox way of looking at things. Or maybe they think that you have an unorthodox way of looking at things or the way you live your life. It could be any of that stuff. But they're definitely judging you with judgment in reverse. And they don't like it. Whoever this person is, they don't like this shit. They don't, yeah, they don't like that you doing your own thing because remember we had the strength energy in reverse in the last spread this person doesn't want you to have control you know they they're going to kind of try to come in and manipulate you in some way you know with the six of swords in reverse and the king of swords in reverse this person's going to try to keep you from moving forward <clears throat> moving forward <coughs> excuse me let me get a drink Yeah, this is what this person trying to do. Let's take a look at these top five. We did look at these top five. Yeah, it's clearly obvious here that this is a hater. Now, for some of you, this is somebody coming back from the past, okay? Because the judgment showed up in reverse here. And then we have the four of pentacles energy in reverse. So somebody knows that, you know, if this person comes back around, if they open up to this person, it's not going to be a good thing. Like, they sense this. That's why we got the Two of Pentacles energy in reverse. They know that it's not going to be good for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the extended, take a look at this a little bit further. So if this resonates with you or someone you know, feel free to click the like button. Um, leave a comment if it resonates. And um, if it doesn't, check your other placements. And if those don't resonate, you can check the other types of readings on the uh, channel. They'll show up on the screen as we close out the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you need a personal, my information is in the box below. So hopefully I'll see you in the extended. The link for that's in the box below too. And I'll, Or if not, I'll see you in the next reading. Later, Pisces.